What's up, Trinity Squad? Welcome back to our channel. If you guys are new here, I'm Shay. I'm Eunice. And today, you guys, I woke up craving Honduran food. Her husband is Honduran, and I don't think we've ever done a Honduran food mukbang. Yeah, that's really weird that we never did it on our channel. I kind of feel bad. I should be representing the culture and the country of my husband's no, people. No, but to be fair, we were kind of planning to do it with him or like with, with her daughter, like as a family. Yeah. But we just never were able to schedule accordingly. Yeah. I actually did a Honduran arroz con pollo cookbang on my own mm. channel if you guys are interested. Mila loved it. But today, we're going to be eating it here. We went to the restaurant Rincon Hondureño. We'll link them down below in our description. They were so kind and separated everything for us so it doesn't get soggy. So we're going to go ahead and assemble that. But before we get started, you already know what time it is. Time to give a shout out to the first five commenters that commented hashtag Chimmy Squad on our last mukbang. So big, big shout out to Emily Williams 71 Mohamed Hamza 7246 Teresa Cervantes 4951 Satisfying ASMR and Rashim8708. Yay! Yay! Thank you so much for the comment now for shout out on the next mukbang. Comment right now. So we're just gonna give you a rundown of everything we got. It is everything Hondureño style. So we have enchiladas right here. Pollo Honduras right here. We have tacos dorado, baleadas, plantain, and we have maracuya on the side. Let's say grace. Amen. Amen. Let's try the maracuya. Ooh, okay, so this is passion fruit juice. This is my favorite. I always get maracuya. This is my first time trying it. I've never tried it. It might be sweet for you. We'll see. Oh, it's more tangy than sweet. Mm -hmm. It's good. You have seed in here? Angel doesn't like it, but I, I don't mind it. I like it. Yeah, it's like a crunch. It's very fresh. <clears throat> okay, let's okay. go ahead and assemble everything. We have cabbages, cheese, the sauce, everything separately. So, so here's the taco came with taco shell. I'm gonna put the meat on top. So I don't know if she's the restaurant owner, but her name was Blanca. She was very like helpful with teaching us how to assemble everything together. Put it half the half of the beans where we cook, and later we we'll put it the sour cream and cheese sponges. Um, we might butcher this. Hopefully not, but she was also really nice. She gave us like. These Honduran coffees. Dude, she was so she's sweet. She's really sweet. Yeah, yeah, honestly, if you guys are in the area and you want to try Honduran food, she's a great, like, teacher. She taught us everything. Yeah, she did. So, okay. she said, next is the cabbage. Are you sure? Should I put out the picture for you? No, I know. Okay. I'm basically a catracha. Well, anyway, I took a picture, so. <laughs> cabbage. Put the cheese first and then the sauce. That's what it's Oh my gosh. Okay, guys, I've tried this before. It's bomb. This was what I was craving today. We actually were trying to get two. The picture had two, so we thought we were getting two. Yeah, I think we ordered wrong. Yeah, but it's okay. And then she set the sauce. This yes. is like a tomato sauce. It's mild. It's not spicy. But it's so good. It's like, it bomb. makes it juicy. I love that they put in these little, like... The way you're no. kind of like <laughs> Okay, I'll just do like that much. Okay. Okay. And then you gotta assemble the eggs on top. The eggs aren't the eggs last. Are you the tomato? I think so. And the eggs. Let me double check. Wait, tell me if I did it correctly. I'm sorry if I didn't. I'm trying to do it oh, based on memory. Tomatoes on top, you're right. Oh <laughs> that you correct me. Blah, okay, blah, next. Blah. Let's assemble the other ones. See, now we're gonna assemble the other ones. We're gonna put this back down. <laughs> You know, we talk started getting faster. I'm okay. really excited. Yeah, I think too. it's more exciting because, I don't know. We're really hungry. Yeah, no, not only that, I just have so much love for Honduras, you know, after like... It's really good. Okay. I was only introduced to this Honduran food because, obviously, her and my brother-in-law. But one thing I like about Honduran food is it's really light. It's like not... <laughs> they were very generous with the sides. They God. were... I really like the sauce. It's warm, chunky, super tomato. <sighs> Lala, stop stealing my napkin. <laughs> guys, I got a new cat and she's so oh, hyper. Let me show you guys. <laughs> stop stealing my napkin. I need my napkin. She's like this little um What's that what's that called when you start stealing everything and you find it somewhere? 
<laughs> is she doing that? I mean, she's been doing that with our stuff right now. Klepto! This little klepto. No, no! Stop. You go oh, over there. She gave us habanero sauce too right here. Dude, this spicy. is so bomb. Look, there's like cheese in there. It's like... Hey! <laughs> oh my god, I'm starting to discover she likes cheese. She likes cheese. She likes cheese. Wait, where's the pink sauce? Oh, this is the Honduran sauce. Yeah, yeah, where do you put that? This. And what about over here else? too? Oh. For the sour cream, should I put it inside? I'll put it inside. Oh, she gave a lot of this. This is the main sauce, the homemade sauce for Honduras. Yeah, I ripped this, I'm sorry. I just put it inside, right? Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. You do that, I'm gonna put the pink sauce on here. Sorry, creamy. I'm gonna put some pink sauce on this too, okay? Okay. This, this is, is like authentic to Honduras, I think. Like, oh. where else has this? I've always eyed this on the menu. Because they have enchilada and tacos dorado. Like, they have similar visuals to other places. But this is a unique to just Honduras. Mm. Baleadas is like Honduran. Enchilada. Mm, the tacos dorado. And the pollo Honduras. Maracuya. Pickled onions here, the baleada, and we have some plantain. So excited. Okay, which one should we eat first? Let's dig in. Um, so I think we should go with this first because I don't want it to get soggy, right? Okay. And shalatas yeah. give me some kind of like appetizer feel. I don't know why. Let's give it that crunch and that extra flavoring. I'm gonna take that first bite. I'm ready. That crunch is so loud. Mmm, it's definitely not soggy. Mm -hmm. Ooh. Wait, my nose is itchy. Mm -mm -mm. That is so good. Okay. Ooh, should I go with the egg bite? <laughs> yeah, I'll get another bite. It's bomb. Mm. It has every possible texture in there with every different taste. It comes together so beautifully. Oh my god, so hot. Mmm. That's true. Mm -hmm. mm. You want more sauce on it? Or are you okay mm -hmm. with it? Crunch from the cabbage, and then like the tomato bite with the ground beef, and the cheese, and the tomato sauce, and the crunch. <laughs> it's just so good to It's together. so good. I don't know, the combination is just so good. Mmm. So good. While you eat that, I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try the ba baleada. Mmm. Let me put it in this habanero sauce. Let's see. Oh my gosh. I don't know if Hundreds eat spicy though, because Angel's family doesn't. Is it spicy? It's spicy. I love mm. it. Okay. Baleada. I think this is like what they eat in breakfast too. There's a breakfast version where you put avocados and eggs. The tortilla doesn't taste like your average tortilla. It's like thicker. Mmm. Like, so good. I love that they always give you like thicker tortillas. The sauce is really spicy. Yum. I love that. This pickled onions are so good. Oh my gosh, let me grab another bite of this. So yummy. It's so good, right? Oh, I dropped the tomato. Make sure to eat the red onion with it. Mmm, that's true. I want you to try this though, because I feel like you haven't tried anything like this. I'm really excited to try that. Yeah. So you have two options mm. to get the leg or the chest and we got the leg because i just assumed that it would be softer yeah me too but let us know if you rather have the chest so we can try that next time okay so i just want to get into the chicken in here oh wow it's like a whole leg piece i yeah. thought it was like shredded or something no 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 it's a whole leg piece mm. and then get all this like stuff on the top some people like to mix it all together you can eat it however you like Oh my god, and the plantains on the bottom, mm -hmm, the I plantain. cannot. All together in one bite with the chicken, the plantain, the cabbage, everything. It's like chicken and fries, but chicken and plantain. Give me some of that right now. 
Mmm. <laughs> These both. So good. Chicken looks bomb. It's fried chicken, right? Mm -hmm. Fried chicken. It's fried, and you can put this homemade sauce on top. When Angel and I first started dating, he just poured this whole thing on the chicken. I was like, "You said that's sweet, right?" Yeah, it's kind of sweet, so be careful. Okay. Mm -hmm. I him cook. I put straight into your mouth. <laughs> what do that for you? This is a K drama mean. moment. Okay, I'm gonna try it. Mm -hmm. Oh my god. How is that? Mm. It's good, right? Mm. This is really filling. Mm. I just need to get into the chicken. I like this pink sauce, right? It's not really sweet, it's more like like a mayo creamy sauce. Yeah, I noticed they like a lot of mayo in their sauces, which is perfect because I love mayo. I love it, I'm gonna pour some here. Yeah. Mm. They're really generous with the sauce. Yeah. Usually at the restaurant, we're just like squeezing it out like crazy. Doesn't this make you want to go to Honduras? Like all their oh, yeah. food is like this. Dude, I bet it's cheap too. Mm hmm. One thing I love about street food is like, it's not something you can really recreate in a restaurant. Mm -hmm. And it's cheaper and you just eat it on the street while you're like doing random things. It's the um, experience that uh -huh. has a lot to do with it. Mmm. It's true. Mmm. It's interesting. Mmm. Something about plantains. They're like the same family as fries, but they taste so much different. I love plantains. <clears throat> it's more kozoe. Mm hmm I don't know how to say that in English. Kozoe? Nutty? It's a little more nuttier and savory. I don't know. I agree. They're bomb. Oh my gosh. There's so much going on here, like <laughs> it just looks like a huge like party in here. You know, but this is my favorite way of eating. Mixing a bunch of things in. It might look messy, but each bite is like packed with flavor. Me too. I love that kind of bite. So that's what we're getting right now. The chicken with the plantain, pico de gallo, cabbage, onion, <laughs> everything. Wow, that's a massive bite. It's like crunchy, creamy. Mm -hmm. With the red onion, it's like crunchy too, so it never gets too like creamy and nooky and mm. cheesy. Agree. It's bomb. It's like when we have kimchi on the side for every bite. This is so needed. Mm. Mm. We should try this. This is giving me like a massive deep fried rolled up taco. Mmm. Looks bomb. They're huge. They're huge. So this is how a Honduran taco looks like. It looks like a huge taquito. It's huge. Right? Do we eat one each or how, how does that work? I noticed Angel just gets a, a fork and then... <laughs> yeah, I think it's just too big. It, huh? yeah. I want more pink sauce on my, my plate. Yeah. I freaking love this chicken. Oh my gosh, this is huge! I think this is too big. I need to cut it in half. Habanero sauce on the good side. Okay. Mm. Oh, I want some of the... This too. Oh wow, when you put the habanero in here, it's my stone. Really? That habanero sauce is bomb. Mm. If you're so Honduran and you can eat spicy well, can you comment down below? Because I don't know if you guys exist. <laughs> I'm sorry, I've only been exposed to Angel's family. Let me know. <laughs> it's definitely more mild than like, I would say Mexican spice. It's bomb though. Okay, I got the tacos dorado. With all the topping, the cabbage, the onions, and everything. Mmm. Oh, mm. mm -hmm. Tacos dorado. Mmm. That's good. Another bite. Mmm. It's bomb. It's packed with shredded chicken. Oh my god. The outer shell is like deep fried. In honor of Honduran food, I speak only in Spanish from now on. <clears throat> si. Oh, muchísimo delicioso. Si. Que rico. Que rico. 
Stop copying me. It's not fair. <laughs> I'm repeating because I agree. I'm coming into agreement with you. Mmm. Mm. 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 No say. <laughs> it's not <clears throat> My Spanish stopped growing like after a certain extent. Like I, I don't know any more words. Yeah, me too. After I took Spanish three, I don't remember anymore. I think if anything, Angel just got a lot better at English, and that's it. I didn't. Angel doesn't speak Spanish, right? No. Mm. I blame Angel. Yeah, that's easier for me. <laughs> I feel like Spanish is much easier for us to learn because we already learned no English. But I don't know, I feel like Spanish is one of those languages where you have to kind of insert yourself in the conversation to get like the gist of, like the nunchi. Aww. Like how you say certain things. Oh, I see. There's certain things you can't just learn. You have to like speak and then learn. I don't know. I agree. Like even slangs. Mm. Which one is your favorite so far? Kind of hard, but I think these two. I actually really like Honduran enchiladas. Like I placed to go orders for this many times. That's true. Whenever Angel go gets it, he always gets me this. This bomb. I feel like not a lot of people know about Honduran food though. Did you know about Honduran food before you knew about Angel? Nope. Right. Mhm. Mm so underrated. Yeah, this bomb. I love me some plantains. I believe this is the sweet kind. Mm -hmm. mm. I love, love, love sweet plantains. You have to take a break, get some sweet, and then go back into salty. It's so good. Mm. Wait, so how does it become sweet and how does it become salty? I don't understand. You know what? I was actually thinking the same. Thing. <laughs> Are they like two different types of plantains, or does it come from the same plantain? I don't want to ask because it was <laughs> does like, this sound stupid? Yeah, I was thinking, does this sound stupid? I'm oh, sorry. I, I never asked. Ask. So I know you guys fry it to get it salty and like savory like this, but how does it become like that? I think this is also fried too. That's fried too. Yeah. I don't know. I'm very confused. <laughs> Comment and let us know. You know another interesting fact about Honduras is that when I saw like a group of Honduran people, you can't tell that they're Honduran. I don't know what it is. It's not like a distinct like some people are just really white, some people are really dark. Like there's a mixture of all different types of people in Honduras. Very diverse. Yeah, I didn't know about that either. Yeah, when I first saw Angel, he didn't look Hispanic to me. Yeah. <laughs> people always white. think he looks white or like oh. Colombian or something. And when I tell them he's Honduras, they're always confused. Mmm. Maybe because Honduras is not as well known. I hope that it can be because I really do love the culture and the food and the music. What I can say is, the food is bomb. <laughs> the food is bomb. And then, I know they have a lot of Korean K-pop loving people in Honduras. Oh really? Isn't Angel's niece like K-pop? Mm -hmm. And even Angel's cousins that came to America like last week? I think this global, um, K pop is having a very global um, popularity right now. I but feel like it's it's nice for me because when they tell each other, like, oh, oh, his wife is Korean, they're more like, oh, uh, <laughs> like, I know, I've heard of them. They feel a little more attachment towards you, right? Yeah. Because of the music and stuff. Yeah. yeah no, you should see Angel's name. He's like, Eunice, Eunice, who's your bias? Mine is Honey. I love Honey. She's like, who's the oldest? Who's the youngest? She's like asking me trivia questions on them. <laughs> I remember um, my brother-in-law, her husband, family came to cook on Thanksgiving, was it? No, your baby shower. My baby oh my shower. God. Oh my God, so good. Home-cooked Honduran food it was so good. We have a tia named Tia Lily that comes from Honduras. Maybe once or twice a year. Oh and she was gracious enough to cook for my whole party and Dude, baby shower. So good. Bro, she came late and I was kind of nervous. But she was in the kitchen straight whipping, 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 whipping. And like, right on time, like, bam. I was like, oh, amazing. And everyone there loved it. 
You know, still to this day, people talk about my food from the baby shower. Dude, she's, she looked like she worked at a restaurant or something. <laughs> I don't know. She was like cooking massive food. Like It fit like maybe 40 people. It was so good. I don't know what she cooked, but I just know it was good. Yeah, people still call it Eunice. You know what I'm craving? That freaking chicken from your baby shower. <laughs> that was mom. That was mom. You know, at first taste, this was very tangy, but now it's more on the sweeter side. Right? As you can drink it. Mm-hmm. Did you like it though? It's bomb. Oh, it's a big bite. You can't do that. I hope you. I could have helped you. That was too massive. I have to redeem myself. I'll help you. <laughs> you don't want me to help you? <laughs> oh, I'm getting full. Me too. I think that was like my last. This might be my last. Yeah. Okay. Oh, it's so good though. I think we devoured the chicken. I devoured the chicken. Oh, good. Right, do you see? It's <laughs> empty. We have some tacos dorados left. Honestly, we asked for beef. <laughs> We did too. We did. We did ask for beef, but it's too much chicken for me in one plate. It is. It is. It is. I agree. I've been eating too much chicken. <laughs> I agree. It's a lot of chicken. Oh, that's filling. That's very, very, very filling. Why do I feel like I didn't film a mukbang video? I just feel like I just was so into my food. Um. Yeah. Let's. Cla de Café Estillo. I'm actually really excited to try the coffee from Honduras because Angel told me that when he was a kid, all the kids always drink coffee together, which is kind of weird because Appa never let us drink coffee growing up. Yeah, because I don't know if it's a myth, but like, does it stunt your growth? I don't know. I don't know. Angel's tall, so maybe it's a myth. I don't know. It looks like this. Imagine dipping some um, bread in there, semitas, or like, rosquillas. Is that Ooh, rosquillas? it's very fragrant. Let me smell. Oh, it smells like roasty. Oh, mm. a little dark. Guys, by the time we upload this video, Christmas has already passed. I hope that you guys mm. enjoyed it with your family and your friends and your loved ones. For us, it's not until two days later. So we're still yes. in the Christmas spirit and feels. We're we so are. excited. It's going to be my second Christmas with Mila. Wow. can't believe it. We gifted her an electric car. I'll try to get her reaction. She really likes cars. Yeah. I can't believe that like she was, well I guess this is kind of one of the nice things about YouTube or like putting your life on social media, the, the pros of it is like people get to see your growth as well because we've had the channel before she was pregnant and then during her pregnancy and now time flies. Yeah, I feel like for those that have stuck with us maybe in the beginning of our channel till now, you might feel a little bit more like, oh my gosh, because we've been together since the beginning yeah yeah it's one of those but i'm so glad that if you have been here from earlier or from now that you're able to just continue to join us in this journey thank you so much for tuning in to today's episode guys if you enjoyed it make sure to give us a big thumbs up hit that like button subscribe post the notification bell ding if you haven't already make sure to go in and follow our tiktok account join instagram account and we'll see you guys next episode we'll see you guys then bye bye yeah it's pregnant and it's all oh yeah she's eating the chicken oh is it okay no. Take it away. Oh, yeah, I think I'm